Okay, so we're going to be adding whole numbers today, and just to remind you about what we mean by adding whole numbers, we're going to combine place values from each number and then do carrying when necessary. And so what does that really mean? Um, that's what we're going to get into right now. So we're going to take a look at a couple of problems. Okay, um, And first note that sometimes when you're presented with an addition problem, they could be written horizontally, like our example on the left, and it might be written vertically. Um, like your example on the right. And so when we're talking about adding place values, uh, we talked last time about place values. We said the ones place in uh, this first number is the four, and the ones place in the number 310 is the zero. And so when we're talking about um, adding place values, we actually mean add the two ones values. So in this example right here, um, we'll do the vertical one first. Okay. Um, we're going to just add the place value. So we're going to go down the ones column and say 4 plus 0 is 4. Okay, we're going to go down the tens column and say 3 plus 1 is also 4. And we're going to add uh, the hundreds column and we're going to say when we do that 2 plus 3 is 5. And so when we add together 234 plus 310 we get 544. And so down here it says we're going to be focusing on the vertical format. So anything that's in horizontal um, form should just be changed. And so when you do that, your goal is to really just rewrite the numbers so that uh, the, the place values line up. So you, we, we already see that on the right hand side. So if you're ever presented with a problem that is written horizontally, your job first is going to be turn it into vertical form. And then after you're done uh, with that, line, making sure again that everything lines up properly, uh, you're just going to add using the vertical method. So anything that is not in vertical form, you should change into vertical form. Okay, so let's just go through some examples. And you can see the instructions here, very important. It says find the sum, uh, and sum means the answer to an addition problem. All right, so we're going to go through and, let me move back, okay, we are going to go through and add these together and find the answer. So again, it's a very straightforward example. Letter A, we're going to say 5 and 2 is 7. Those are the ones places. 8 and 1 is 9. Okay, and so I'm going to say in this case, 97 is the sum of 85 and 12. Okay, so that's the pretty straightforward one. Now, when we get to letter B, we're going to have to deal with carrying. Right, so sometimes, uh, it, like in this example here, when we add down the ones column, 9 plus 6 is 15, and I only have space below the the 9 and the 6 for one digit, which means I can't put a 15. 15 has two digits, and so we have to figure out how to handle those. And so what we're going to do is we're always going to take the smallest value in this case, or the let's say the smallest place value in this case is the ones place, right? And I'm going to put that only below the sum, right? So nine and six is fifteen, but I'm only going to put the five here, and then whatever's after that uh, is what we're going to carry up to the next group, right? Because this number really, this one is a tens place value, and the 9 and the 6 are in the 1's column, so I don't want to put a 1 here because that's not what that represents. But what I can do is take this 1, and I can move it right here, right, to the top of the list, and now the 1 in 15 is in the 10's column where it should be. Right, so the idea of carrying is to make sure that the 1 represents um, its proper place value. So now I'm going to add down this column, and I'm going to include the 1. 1 and 3 is 4. 4 and 5 is 9. And then when you get to a situation where, for example, in this one, the, the top number has a hundreds uh, digit, but the one below it does not, you can just bring that value down. It's kind of like there being a 0 here. So I'm going to say, in this case, 195 is the sum of 139 and 56. Okay, So we're going to do this again with a few other ones, just to keep seeing this happening. So 7 and 4 is 11. So again, I'm going to put that. Uh, one here, and then I'm going to carry the tens place up, right? And now in this case, we actually have to carry twice because when I do one plus six plus three, well, one and six is seven, seven and three is ten, right? So again, I have this number ten. I'm going to take this place, right? That that uh, ones place in my number, and I'm going to place it below, and then I'm going to carry the ten again, right? The one, uh, the tens place again. So now two and one is three, and it looks like my answer is three hundred and one. All right, so in this last example, I have two three-digit numbers. So 4 and 1 is 5. Okay? 9 and 6 is 15, so I'm going to place the 5 from 15 uh, down below the 9 and the 6, and I'm going to carry the 1. And now 1 plus 8 plus 3 is 12. And so when you get to the very end, you can just write down the 12. You don't have to like carry another 1 over here and bring it down. So um, it's going to be the last number. So that's entirely OK. okay? So you can see this is the vertical method. We like this because they're stacked right on top of each other. Um, 
So let's just take a look at an example of the vertical method where maybe you have some extra digits. So nothing's really going to change here, except when you add down the ones column, you just have to add all three of them instead. So in, in this letter E, five and three is eight, eight and two is 10. So I'm going to place the zero from the number 10 below the ones, and I'm going to carry the one to the top. So now it says one and eight is nine, nine and six is 15, 15 and another one is 16. So I'm going to say this is the number 160. And then letter F, same idea, five and three is eight, and three is uh, 11. So I'm going to drop a one and carry a one, eight and six and one and zero. When I add all of these digits together, I get a 15. And I'm going to carry another one. All right, the five went down, the one went up. One and six is seven, seven and two is nine, nine and four is 13, so I have another one to carry, and then one and one looks like it makes two. So if I add up all these numbers, I get 2,351, okay? So now let's look at the, um, the that should say horizontal form, um, when they're written straight across instead of being written up and down. So when this happens, we just have to recognize that, for example, these two values, the seven and the four, are in the ones place, in each of their um, numbers. So I need to make sure that when I rewrite these, that the seven and the four are right on top of each other. And then the same thing with these values, the two and the four are both in the tens place. So I need to make sure that when I rewrite it, the two and the four are also stacked right on top of each other. So you just have to be careful when you're adding them up, right? So now when I add down the column, there's 11, carry a one, and that's one and two and four, which is seven. So I'd say 71 is my sum. Um, for this last problem, here's the one thing I want to note. Um, about this, I'm actually going to look at these numbers, and because addition, I'm allowed to switch order. You know, like for example, three plus five is seven. Uh, and, I'm sorry, three plus five is eight, but five plus three is also eight, right? The order of these doesn't matter. If I write it like this, okay, or I write it like this, in addition, it doesn't matter that I switched the va the places. It still means eight. So I can do the same thing here and say 118 is at the end, but when I'm writing this in the horizontal form, top to bottom. I'm sorry, the vertical form, top to bottom, I was right, um, that the 118 should be on top. Whatever is the longest digit, the one with the most digits should be on the top, uh, because then we can just carry that one at the end. right? So the other ones, it really doesn't matter. I'll put the 41 and then the 93. And I'm adding these, so I'm going to put an addition sign out there. Okay. So this looks like 12. 8 and 1 and 3 is 12. So I'm going to bring the 2 down and carry the 1. And sometimes when you're adding these numbers, it can be helpful to look for groups of 10. So for example, with this one, instead of me going 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9, it might be helpful to look at these and say, well, these ones together right, make 10, and these two together make 5, and 10 and 5 is 15. Right? So I'll bring the 5 down and add the 1, and then it looks like I've got to bring a 2 down when I add those values there. So sometimes grouping your addition different in a different order might be more helpful um, to c give yourself simple numbers like 10s and 5s instead of um, just kind of going in order. So that's uh, just a little tip when you're adding together digits. Okay. So here's our last problem. We're just going to look at a word problem. So here's the word problem. Each of the remaining members of One Direction got fan mail today. And I'm not going to go through the whole list. I'll let you read it. Okay. Um, and so it looks like Harry got 129. So they're asking us at the end, uh, in total, how many letters did One Direction receive? So they're basically asking us to go into this problem, find out how much each of them received, and if we're looking for the, of this keyword here, total, they're really asking us to add those values up. So this is one of those keywords in a word problem, total, sum, um, that we're going to look for so that we know that we're adding. Right. So uh, it's pretty obvious if I'm doing a lesson on addition that I'm going to be adding these numbers. But on a quiz or a test or some other kind of assessment or out in real life, um, you're, you're going to have to make the decision about what to do. So I'm going to come off to the side here and say, again, I'm looking at my numbers. It looks like 129 is the largest, um, the longest digit. So I'm going to put that on top. All right? And then the other ones doesn't matter. So I'm going to say 91, 88, and 27. Poor Liam. Okay. So when I add these up, again, I, I see a group of 10 here. So that's 10. And this is 15, and so this looks like all of these together would be 25. So I'm going to put a 5. And now this is the first time we're seeing that I'm carrying a 2. right? Because I, I had a 25, I put the fives digit, this, the ones digit down here, which was a 5, and then I carried the 2. There's my 25. Okay? So I'm going to add down the column again, 2. And, and again, the way that you add these straight down the list might not necessarily be the, the most convenient way. So I'm looking at this, I'm saying, well, it's easy to go 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's 6. 
and then this is 17, right? 9 and 8 is 17, and then 6 and 17 is 23. All right, so whatever way you're most comfortable, again, I've got to carry it too. Okay, um, you might group these differently. You might have looked at these and said, hey, look, here's a 10, right? And this looks like it's a uh, 9, that's a 13. And so you might have looked at this and said, 8 and 2 is 10, and there's a 13, right? And so that makes a lot of sense, right? So however you want to do it, it looks like One Direction got 335 pieces of mail, okay? So we have a few different options here. We have the horizontal method and the vertical method of uh, writing the problems, okay? Um, we have to worry about carrying properly, and in some cases, we have to worry about actually writing the problem at all so that we're um, lining up our place values in the proper order.